Uh, tonight's event is about the Donegal Sports Partnership celebrating their 10th anniversary. Um, it also signifies the launch of uh, the new strategic plan, Active Donegal 2011-2014. And the third part of tonight will be uh, the Sports Bursary Awards where we'll see €23,000 uh, worth of funding going towards the elite sports and the developmental sports athletes of uh, County Donegal. And tonight we'll also see the launch of Active Donegal 2011-2014. Uh, Donegal Sports Partnership 2011 Club Development Grants will be announced and we'll also have a presentation of Donegal County Council Sports Bursary Awards. Uh, as Chairman of Donegal Sports Partnership, it gives me great pleasure to welcome all of you here tonight. Um, present the company's new strategic plan, Active 20 Gold 2011-2014. This plan has been prepared following lengthy consultation with numerous stakeholders and seeks to sustain the positive work being developed under the Gold Sports Partnership Banner. The feedback from various sporting, sporting groups and from the community following their view of previous plans has been, has been extremely positive and highlights the professional approach to sports development being implemented by the board and staff. This is what the group are doing. They've been doing some work without the sticks, without the poles, which is um, good posture, good technique, and it helps people with, with joint problems because it's a lighter... It's going to be good for your arms and it stuff, is. isn't it? It is. It's very good for arms. It's very good for everything, actually. It tones up the whole body. Find it, how do you find the, the walking as, as healthy oh, as excellent. a person? Uh, well, I've always done walking anyway over the years, so obviously I love walking. But then when the, the healthy walk came to Castle Fund for the great prescription, I thought I would just take part in it. And it's nice then just to actually go out into the community just and walk with people and just it gets everybody mixed, mixed in. I do, I do a bit of running, right? right? And I know you can't run with these, yeah. you? you can't run with these, no. but do you feel a wee bit silly sometimes if you're walking with these? Are you thinking people just looking at me thinking... Well, you probably, probably would be conscious, I would say, at the start if you did. But do you but care? No, if you just get used, it's the same. Same as you can out and walk and swing in your arms. People think, well, she's mad out there. Look at the rest of her down the road yeah. there. But you don't care. She's in a wild hurry. Yeah. Huh? But you'd see anyone who's fit at the end of the day. Yeah. How much training goes involved in, in um, all the best pieces? About that you three do? times a week. And then, you know, stuffed at the house by myself just to keep me ticking over between that and... <laughs> well, you're here for a very good reason this evening. You're up for a bursary award, isn't that yep. right? How is that going to change things for you? Yeah, it'll make a big help, like, you know, with equipment and strength and conditioning sessions and travelling away to competitions and everything. What's happening here? Here we have Letterkenny Athletic Club doing a demonstration on sports hall athletics. Sports Hall Athletics is the fundamental introduction for juvenile athletes into the world of athletics. It's where they will learn their coordination and balance. Because it's team oriented, you know that everything counts for the team, but the points are added up. So say when they do the high steppers, if they hit the yellow mat, mm -hmm. they lose a point. They have 10 speed bounces to do. If they tap the top of the yellow thing, they lose a point. You're very tough on them. Could you do this yourself? No, not really. <laughs> but then again, I'm much older and mobility is not there. We got a monster hiding in here. Come you come out. in here, she's a little mouse. We're playing cat and mouse, you see. So how do you play cat and mouse? Cat and mouse, if one of the kids will go underneath and they're going to be there. Well, we've a few mice under there at the moment. I think there's a few rats in there as well. <laughs> and then a few kids go on top and try and catch them then as a game, a little game of cat and mouse. So there's, we've caught one mouse. That's a key, nice and easy. Brilliant stuff. If there was no sporting organisations within this county, we would be the poorer for it. And we must continue in the long nights and during the summer months to ensure that those within our communities do get an opportunity to take part in sport of all uh, types and, and persuasions. Can you talk Kira through taking a shot and just explain what's involved? Yes, no worries. So you have the arrow here and you have two different colours on the fletchings. So if I take that off, you can see the two different colours. Mm -hmm. The odd colour always faces towards you. Okay. So you clip it in, so it's nice and tight, then you set it on the rest, you use your three fingers below the arrow, and you pull back until it's touching your mouth with the arm out straight, and then aim for the yellow. Best of luck, Kira. Ooh, 
Not, not bad. bad. Well, the Arizona is something that we depend on now so much. It's something that in Ireland has suffered over the past number of years, and it has been our sporting activities that has held that together. Uh, I understand that we might have at least two of our athletes going to London next year to, to represent us uh, at the Olympics. But as well, we're here tonight to uh, uh, present the sports horse race. Uh, 24 athletes from young to not so young have been presented with uh, some checks this evening. Checks amounting to, I understand, 31,500. So here we are with Therese and she's put a lot of work into this last probably year or maybe two years into their support. Can you tell us more about it? Um, the report is the second report for the Sports Inclusion Project. Um, the project's been running since 2008 in Donegal and this report summarises the work that's been done over the past two years. So it's an overview of the programmes, the education and training and all the different initiatives really that we've run. And I guarantee one thing, if we get all these people participating in some sport of, sport of any kind, I do myself as often as I can walk an hour or two a day when I'm at home, I'll be out tomorrow morning, I'll, t I'll guarantee there'll be, lit, there'll be fewer patients on trolleys and hospitals in this country, we'll need fewer consultants and fewer medical people, we'll be a healthier nation, so I would recommend to everyone who haven't participated so far to follow the lead that has been given here tonight and to, and to, and, and to get involved.